The joint position error test is um, how it's typically performed in the clinic is that um, a, a patient is um, sitting in, in front of a target and they have their eyes closed. So this is uh, intentional to remove sort of visual cues. And the goal is to uh, do a head movement to the max range and then come back and find the original starting neutral position um, just based on feedback from proprioception. So you're not getting any visual input, but you are attempting to find your neutral. And so um, this is typically done in left-right rotation and flexion extension. And when there is a proprioceptive deficit, um, you know, patients, they come back, they have their eyes closed and they're like way off the target. They're at the edges or way off the target. So that is um, um, an indication that there is a deficit or an impairment. So we have implemented this test and, you know, it's, it's heavily researched. There's a lot of um, studies out there uh, utilizing um, the joint position error test. And so we have, you know, made that um, uh, digital, you know, and um, no input needed from the, the clinician in, in marking, you know, where the patient is perceiving their neutral. So it's all automatic. And then I don't analyzes the data and spits it out.